Hi guys, this is just a video to show you some of the stuff we bought in Kathmandu to take on the Everest Base Camp trek. We've got some of the provisions here that we bought and some of the accessories for the actual trek itself. I'll also be showing you some of the stuff we bought in the UK, uh, down jackets and bags, which you can buy here if you'd like to do that and I'll go through some of those prices as well. Okay, so we've got the trekking poles here, which we paid 1600 rupees for. Um, that's about $16 or just short of £12. We've got two metal canteens here which were 600 rupees, which is $6 or just short of five pounds. We've got the cover here. This is a waterproof backpack cover. That was 300 rupees, $3 or two pound 20. Um, the hat was pretty much doesn't convert. This was just 150 rupees, it's a dollar 50, like a quid. The gloves were 600 rupees, which is $6 or four pound 40. The snoods here, we've got two for 500, which was $5 or around £3.70. Um, we bought a bag to store our stuff in for when we actually go on the trek, so we're going to leave a whole bunch of things that we don't need, beachwear that we're taking to India uh, in the hotel before we go. The bag was 400 rupees, $4 or around £3. So the total price we paid for everything here is just less than £30, which is just less than $40. This is for two people however, so if you're trekking on your own, which we don't recommend, then this would only come in at around £15 or just over $20. So here's some of the food we bought to take on the trek with us. These trail mixes here, so raisins, cashews and dates, they came in at around 100 rupees per bag. Uh, the dates were actually 60. Chips Ahoy came in at 85 rupees. These little butter cookies came in at 20 rupees. The two bags of nuts there are 130 rupees each. And then we also bought these boxes of Snickers, two of. These were 225 rupees each, just for a little treat while we're trekking. So the total for all this food was 1200 rupees, which is about $12 or nine pounds. Um, you could probably get this quite a lot cheaper. We didn't haggle at all. We just went to a supermarket and bought this quickly. So here's a couple of essentials that we bought. Down jackets, these were 30 pounds each in the UK. We're heading on the trek in January, so we know that it's quite cold on a night. We wanted to be prepared. These jackets can be bought in Kathmandu of equal quality for around 1500 rupees, which is around $15 or just short of 12 quid. I'd recommend that. We rented these two sleeping bags in Kathmandu. They're 100 rupees a day or a dollar a day, 70p. Um, we're up there for 20 days. It worked out better than buying them. Obviously you can buy them if you want or bring your own. However, we didn't want to lug them for the rest of our journey as we go into India and warm climates. And a few more little essentials. These are polarized uh, mountaineering glasses just for the extra sun glare up there. We bought a SteriPen just to make sure that the water we're drinking is okay. Obviously you can use purification tablets if you'd like. Super important, compass, map, and whistle, just in case you get lost, stay safe. This is one of the required Sagmartha National Park entry permits. This was 3,000 rupees, uh, $30 or around 22 pounds. These are essential and a must have as you go through a checkpoint as you go up the trek. So these are the two bags we'll be taking on the trek, obviously emptied out a little bit. These are quite full at the minute. These are the Osprey 5.40 liters. Uh, we brought these as carry-ons, so we've got no luggage to check. Um, these came in at £70 each in the UK, which was a really good price at the time. Uh, that's around $100. We covered the Sag Martha National Park ticket, however you do need a TIMS registration. Um, we went to the main office in Kathmandu to do this, just to be told they aren't actually doing it there anymore. They're doing it up in Lukla and Monjo. Um, this is a dispute between the governments, so if you do pay it in Kathmandu, you're probably going to end up paying it again on the mountain. We will record another video while we're going up the trek uh, and we will cover that then to let you know if we need to pay more on the mountain or if we did need to pay in Kathmandu at the end. One more thing that you'll need is flights to Lukla if that's the route you choose. We paid $170 per flight. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you haggle. Um, the free baggage allowance is 10 kilograms, so make sure your bags are under that, otherwise you're gonna have to pay to check luggage as well. And so on a last note, you can actually get this stuff quite a bit cheaper. We could have haggled the prices down further than we did. However, ethically, you have to ask yourself if you feel right doing that. We set ourselves a price of what we wanted to pay and then actually went ahead and got a little bit less than that. Um, these guys depend on this. This is their trade. This is the majority of their industry. So you don't want to be haggling them down too much. You're in one of the poorest countries in the world. So that is completely up to you. However, we didn't haggle too much on these prices.